No matter where you're studying, whether it's the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, anywhere in the world, these three universities have to be avoided if you are an international student. And trust me, given my experience in the industry, I can assure you, you will not find this information online because this hurts business. If you know this, you're a smart consumer and this hurts business of almost every consultant out there. But you need to know. And trust me, if I knew this and if many of my friends knew this, it would it would save up almost their parents' savings of the entire lifetime. So let's begin. Number one is your zero ROI universities. Now, what are these zero ROI universities? That means that your return on investment is zero. Let me tell you why. Let's give you an example of two countries. I'll give you an example of Canada first. Now, a lot of consulting agencies would just send you towards universities which are tied up with them. They will not care if these universities have PGWP eligibility. Now, let me talk to you about PGWP. PGWP means post-graduate work permit. That means after your graduation, you are able to work in Canada, you're able to stay over there, you're able to make back the money that your parents or you have spent until this point. For example, take a look at this video. Over here, I'm showing you colleges in Ontario, colleges and universities in Ontario, where many a cases you don't really get PGWP. For instance, if you go to ABC Business Access College and a consultant send you over there, you're thinking that, hey, I'm getting to go to Canada. But at the end of the day, once your tuition is paid, once you have completed the course, you will have to return back to your country. The reason is that this university does not have postgraduate work permit eligibility. Another thing that consultants could do is that may, they may send you to universities which are in areas where you won't really find a job and they know it that, that jobs are not going to be available in that region since it's almost impossible to get a job over there. Yet they send you to such universities knowing all of this. Why? Essentially because they gain a commission out of your tuition fee. That's why they may charge you a very small amount or no one, trust me, big names in the industry and small names all of them are doing it. The reason that they are able to do it for such a low charge is not that it's it's not out of the kindness of their heart. It's because they are making money off of you still from the university. So please keep that in mind. I'll give you another example for the US. Of course, things like the ranking and the location are just as equally important so that you can get a job at the end of your degree. If you come to me, I will never really suggest any university where basically you will not be able to secure a job. But there's also one more criteria which is called the OPT, Optional Practical Training. Now, in this case, what it essentially means is that after your degree, how many years do you get to work in the US? Now, most non-STEM degrees essentially would get one year. That means that after your degree, you can only work for one year. STEM degrees get three years. That means you can work for three years without any H1B and you can apply for the H1B three times. That's quite a major leap, right? One year to three years. Well, this is again, information that consultants do not like to give you. So similarly, I hope you understand this is not just relevant to Canada and US for each and every country. There are rules. Australia has rules like that. New Zealand has rules like that. Some people get less work permits. Some people get more work permits, right? And at the end of the day, some people don't really get any work permit at all. You need to understand the eligibility, the location, whether you'll be able to get jobs or not. That's research that you have to do. And if you're not sure and you think that you may be being guided into the wrong direction, you can always reach out to me. My number over here is, is available in the WhatsApp of this video. You can reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you understand whether the return on investment exists for your university or not. The second kind of universities you absolutely need to avoid are the visa rejection universities. Now, what are these? These are usually very low ranked universities. Rankings are very bad. At the same time, they're also quite a low tuition university generally. So that means that you're going to study in a very cheap university, very bad ranking, more or less you have no future after that, but you're still going, but you don't know that all of this is happening in the background, right? You're thinking that you're going to go to the US, Canada, wherever, right? And you're going in the hopes and spending all of your parents' money in the hopes that you will be able to secure some sort of job later on. But the visa in such universities is usually always rejected. You wanna know the reason? The reason is that it looks like you are trying to immigrate. Why does it look like that? Essentially, the reason is that you're gonna pay a very low tuition amount. It's a bad university. Maybe you can even get a better university in your own country, but you're going overseas. Why? It looks like you want to go ahead and work over there. The tuition of the university is probably less than 10% of what you would annually earn if you're doing even an illegal job. So your visa is set out to be rejected from the very beginning. And consultants usually know all of that from the very beginning. Yet they're sending you to such universities because they believe that you're not able to get in somewhere else 
that means that they can get commission out of you by sending you towards these bad universities. Whereas your profile may actually deserve the top 10, 20, 30 universities. So please keep that in mind and avoid these universities. And the third ones, the third ones are again tied up universities. These are usually tier three universities. The reason why is that top universities would never do tie ups with any consultant out there. That means if you are going through a consultant and they are sending you towards tied up universities, which by the way, we are absolutely against, this usually reflects that they are essentially making money off of you on the cost of your future. And this is something that we would like to avoid. Trust me, when you go to a consultant and the consultant tells you that you have to apply to this, this, and this university, they're usually making money. And if you say that, hey, no, I wanna apply to some other university, and they say, no, you must apply to these universities, you are at the wrong place, my friend. Stay away from such tied up universities and you should be good. So no matter where you go, avoid these three universities. Subscribe to the channel if you like this content, because trust me, people do not want you knowing this. I'm only telling you this after five years of working in the same industry and seeing what's happening and people come to me and they've wasted so much money of themselves, of their parents, years and years of savings. I don't think it's ethical and I think you have every right to know. You can also connect with me on Instagram or my WhatsApp. My number is in the description and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Goodbye and take care.